Hey, y'all, it's me, Dr. Lynn Daniel, Lynn Daniel, PhD, EDS. I'm the self-care evangelist here on social media. I talk to individuals about their personal and professional self-care. And today I am encouraging you all to continue on this 90 day, 90 days of power. This is a time of consecration, fasting and praying for our loved ones who are bound by addictions. Now, I wanted to share this source from a church in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I found this online doing a Google search, just a cursory search of fasts. And I like this. They call it a cookbook. It is a cookbook, but it also has daily dedications, devotions, prayers, scriptures, it gives you the background information about fasting according to Daniel. And then it gives you a little bit about the 21 day fast story, uh, historical account of Daniel. And also it gives you the historical account of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego's 10 day fast when they were first taken captive to Babylon to serve King Nebuchadnezzar. They were chosen to be in the court training program, if you will, a three-year training program to learn how to serve the king. And in that time, they would have access to the king's rich, uh, abundant food choices, right? But Daniel asked he and his friends, if they could have vegetables and water for 10 days, and if they were still healthy, could they continue in that manner? And sure enough, when they were checked after 10 days, they were just as strong, healthy, beautiful as they were before. And they were given permission to continue on their fast. So they fasted. We can infer that they ate that way for three years, not just 10 days, not just a 21 days, but the, the training program was a three-year program and they got permission to eat in the way, the manner of their culture and custom. And we can imagine that was going on for their entire three-year training. Fasting is a tool that helps us to get our flesh under subjection to the word of God. Fasting allows us to draw close to God through reading the word, studying, having silent time so we can hear God's voice, hear and sense through the Holy Spirit, his direction. We will know what decisions to make, how to navigate our life. And so on this time, during these 90 days, it is imperative for us to make sure we are using wisdom, applying wisdom to this fast, right? 90 days is a long time. Three years is a long time. 21 days is a long time. This is a long term, um, long game plan, if you will, or long term objective. Us drawing nigh to God, seeking guidance, wisdom, and instruction on how to live our lives and influence those we know and love and care for who are bound by troublesome things. Okay. So this source is there for you. It is free. You can click on the link. If you are apprehensive about clicking links, just type in um, this name, 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting Cookbook. Let me go to see if I can get to the last page so you can see the name of the church. And if you are apprehensive about clicking on the links, you can type in the name of this church. Okay, published by the Eastwood Baptist Church in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So you can type that in, Eastwood Baptist Church. Tulsa, Oklahoma, um, 21 day fast book or 
you know, fasting recipe book or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. And I really pray and hope that you all are finding solace, comfort, and strength during these 90 days. Please note that it is important for us to have a long-term approach to these, these things, these situations in our life, uh, quick fix remedies. Sometimes God will put us, we are in a pinch and God will come through, but he wants us to learn how to build our muscle through an endurance and longevity, through practice, through ongoing application of practices and principles. So thank you all for watching today's video. Let me know if you find or if you have a source that you find to be a reliable, helpful source to you on fasting and share that with us and let me know in the comments what you think about this source and if you plan to use it. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for being here. Be blessed.